Hi guys, Chris here and welcome to a little gaming review here of the Mi Notebook Air. This is the 2.5 inch version, so it's the low powered version that only has a Core M in there. There is no dedicated graphics. So first up is Battlefield 4. Now I'm running this in 720p on the lowest settings. I'll show you the settings I have selected. So you can see there everything is on low graphics quality 720p. Now you could lower the resolution a little more, but I don't really honestly think it's going to help. You can see frame rate at the moment about 20 frames per second. It is struggling a little bit. And what we seem to be running into is some power throttling, which I will cover later on towards the end of this review. We're running into the power limit, basically, that Xiaomi have set in the BIOS. At least we're getting about 20 frames per second at the moment. and temperatures around 60 degrees on the CPU. Now, if you were to increase those power limits using Intel XTU, I'm sure you could easily double this frame rate, but that will come, of course, at additional heat. So, because most people won't be touching that, I'm just gonna leave everything as stock as, as you get it from the factory. So everything in my reviews will be stock settings. So this one really isn't playable with this kind of frame rate. It's just just too slow, too laggy. This one here is Half-Life 2 Lost Coast. Now the video settings, if you can read the small text, 1080p. I'm going to try it with what they recommended. So model details is on high, texture detail high, shader detail high. Color correction enable, shader detail medium, reflections. Uh, the only thing I turned off was the anti analyzing mode, so that's off. Let's see how it runs it. So, the first thing here with all the shader details on the water, it's 40, 30, dipping down to about 30 frames per second, 40 there at the moment. So this title here is League of Legends. I'm running in 1080p with all the settings set to the lowest right there. And the frame rate is hovering around 90 frames per second, 100 frames per second, 53 degrees. So temperature's really good. And you're able to scroll around the map. So this game is very playable. Core Ham has no trouble running this one. title is Project Cars. Now I'm using an Xbox One controller. You can see it's hooked up there wirelessly. And I'm running it in 720p on the lowest settings. Okay, we can see already that this game is just too demanding. Even in 720p, it'll have to lower the resolution and try again. Ten frames per second, too slow. Way too slow. Okay, my second attempt, 1024 by 768 resolution, windowed, and you can see it's not really much better. 10, 12 frames per second. You're gonna need a dedicated GPU for this. The Intel 
515 graphics can just, it just can't handle this game. Far too demanding. This title is Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. I'll show you the video settings here. So resolution is a 720p and advanced video. Everything is on low. You could possibly lower things down a little more, but I'm going to try it with these settings. So 30 frames per second, 58 degrees. Title is Counter Strike Global Offensive. I'm gonna try it in 1080p. All the settings on low there. And the map I'm gonna play be a community map. Dust 2. Yes, yeah, so 41, 40 frames per second, 1080p, that's not too bad. 57 degrees at the moment. And I must warn you, I'm quite bad at this game, so I don't imagine I'm gonna to last too long here. So they're, um, it's not a completely full server there. I'm probably going to die. I want to get that gun though. Alright, he got me. So this game looks playable though, settings. Of course you can lower the resolution down to 720p and it'll be much more playable. And the final game I will test out is Dota 2. Running in 1080p, I will show you the video settings, but I have that set to the fastest setting. We'll test it like that, but of course, you could, probably should be able to increase this, I would imagine. So there we go, those are the settings there, so I'll test it out and see how it performs. So I'm going to go for a bot match here, so I don't annoy anyone just leaving a game. Okay, so at the moment, hovering around 40 frames per second. Now, of course, allowing the resolution to something like 720p would definitely improve the performance. The battle begins. Okay, now with a bit of action on the screen, frame rate has dipped down a little bit. <laughs> I already died. As you can tell, I don't play this game, but it's just to test out the performance. And it's safe to say that it's going to be playable. Now, if you're playing multiplayer matches that are really demanding with lots of special effects, and everything showing up on the screen there, then all you probably need to do is just lower that resolution down there. So now this is in Intel's Extreme Tuning Utility. Have a look and see here that uh, power limit throttling is what has been happening most of the time. So that has been limiting the performance, but that has also been keeping the temperatures in check. Now it's not thermal throttling, but it is something very similar. So what Xiaomi have done here is limited the, the amount of power that basically the, the, the CPU can consume 
to stop it from getting too hot because the more power it's drawing, the hotter it's going to get, of course. So you see along here that temperatures um, hover around the time, most of the time around 64 degrees. And the hottest of I have seen it get up to is 70, 70, 71. So thermals are really good on this unit with the way it is configured. Now I did mention that you could increase power limits to boost performance. Um, now I'm not going to go into that because I don't believe in tweaking those settings for reviews. So later on I will probably release another video showing you how to get maximum performance. But that will come at the cost of temperatures and I imagine it will probably get up to 90 degrees if you really want to unlock the performance of it. So while it's still hot I just want to have a look at the temperatures. Surface temps. Uh, 41 degrees. Which is, that is warm to the touch. You can feel, yes, it, it is heating up. And it will probably be hottest on the bottom, so around the middle, 42 here. The chipset is actually located right in the middle when I opened it up. So 43. And I will just flip that over. So you can have a look at the, the rear temperatures. Where it gets the, the actual hottest is just about here. I can feel now that it's quite warm to the touch. And it actually seems to be hotter on the top there. So look at that, 39 degrees. I'm, I would, would have thought that would be hot, hotter than the top there. But of course, hot air rising that's trapped in there. There is no fan, so it's all passively cooled. All right, so as always, thank you so much for watching this video. Now, if you do want to see more on the me notebook air here i have other videos that are in the playlist so check that out and why not think about subscribing also if you like these kind of videos that i do because i'll have plenty of these up and coming i also be reviewing lots of other devices mobiles mainly tablets too and i hope to see you again in the channel bye for now